All right. This one is, I think, uh, the easiest because it's just very straightforward. Um, and I just wanna, I just wanna say, when you're finding surface area for a rectangular prism like this, um, AKA a, like a box, right? Um, what you're really doing is, I just wanna show you this. You've got three sets of sides. You've got this side. Okay, we could do the perimeter, like the height times the the perimeter plus the two bases, but this is a, I like thinking about it this way. Okay, we have two sides in green. Okay, and how do you find the area of each one of those? Well, you would do uh, one number times the other number, right? Thirteen point two times three point nine. And of course, since you have it twice, one on the top, one on the bottom, you do two times that, okay? And then we can say, okay, now let's add to this. this left side and that right side's area. And how do we calculate those? Well, we do their two measurements, right? We do two times, because there's two of them, times their length and width, right? 3.9 times six. Okay. And then we finally will add to that what we've got for the final surfaces, which is the back surface, the back side right there, and the front side right there. And so what is that? Well, we've got that two times, so we do two times. And what are the measurements of those? Well, the width is 13.2, and the height is 6. And you'll notice that we have three measurements here, right? We've got... 13.2, 3.9, and 6, okay? And we'll take those pairs, like 13.2 and 3.9, we multiply those two. Then 3.9 and 6, and we multiply those two. And then 13.2 and 6, and we multiply those two. Those are going to be the combinations that give us the areas of the three sides. And we always have to double them because we have them on the front. And then now that all, all that's left to do is to calculate them. And, and actually, I'll calculate these each separately, but you actually could because your calculator, if you're using a TI-84, which highly recommend that you have this for the test, you could just type straight in 2 times 13.2 times 3.9 plus 2 times 3.9 times 6 plus 2 times 13.2 times 6. And the calculator knows order of operations, and it'll, it'll do it all for you. Yeah? But uh, you, uh, you can see what it looks like for each number, okay? We can say 2 times 13.2 times 3.9, and we get, for this part of it, we get 102.96 plus, and then we will do 2 times 3.9 times 6, and we get, for this part of it, 46.8 plus, and then we can do 2 times 13.2 times 6, and we get 158 for the areas of the light blue sides. Okay? And now we just got to add them together. So we have 102.96 plus. 46.8 plus 158.4. And we get the surface area is equal to 308.16. And this tells us up at the top, notice what it says at the top, round it to the nearest tenth of a unit. So this is to the nearest tenth, so that's in the tenth place. Well, I should say that's in the tenth place. And this, is this five or higher? It is. It is five or higher. So we round the one up to a two before dropping all of the other digits. So we got surface area equals, or is approximately equal to, 308.2, and the units are centimeters, so centimeters squared. That is our surface area. And now all that's left... And of course, the volume of this is probably the easiest of all because for the volume of 
a rectangular prism, you just do length times width, otherwise known as area of the base, times height. So we can plug in those numbers. And we've got 13.2. Well, uh, let's say 3.9, because that's how long it is. The width, how wide it is, 13.2. And the height of it is 6. Okay, the order of them doesn't really matter because it's multiplication. Um, but we do then 3.9 times 13.2 times 6. And we get 308.88. And it's asking us to the nearest tenth of a unit. So what's in the tenths place? We've got that 8. What's 1 right after that? That's an 8. Is that 5 or higher? It is. So therefore, we round that 8 up to a 9, 308.9. And what are the units? They were centimeters and we're doing volume, so it's centimeters cubed. And that is the volume of this.